Okay, this is lab 15, configuring server authentication, found in the Administering Windows Server 2012 R2 lab manual in preparation for exam 70-411. This is part of the MOAC or the Microsoft Official Academic Course Series. During this video, we're going to be looking at creating a service account. And we're going to create a traditional service account. So the mindset behind this is that a service account is an account under which an operating system process or service runs. A service account can allow the application or service specific rights and permissions to function properly while minimizing permission required for the users using the application server. The approximate time for this is about 10 minutes. I am already logged on to RWDC01. But before we do that, we're going to go back into Hyper-V. Actually, no, I'm not logged in. And I want to do a checkpoint um, because I just finished up Lab 14. Again, I want to have that back up in case I need to restart. And you can tell it didn't take all that long. Let me go ahead and log into RWDC01. And we're going to log in as TOSO administrator. Okay, we're on the RWDC01. I'm just waiting for the dashboard to come up. Okay, now we're click on tools. And then once we do that, we're going to pull up Active Directory Users and Computers. Now in the console tree, we want to expand Contoso.com, and it's already expanded. We want to right-click and choose New Organizational Unit. New Organizational Unit. We want to type in Service Accounts. And then OK. Now we want to right click service accounts and do new and user. The first name text box we're going to type in app one. And then the last name text box we're going to type in service. And then in the logon name text box, we're going to type in app one service. And then next, and then we're going to use our standard password. We're going to change, remove that. User cannot change password. Password never expires. We're going to click on next and then finish. Now, if you are following along in the lab manual and you're required to do so, this would be where you would take your screenshot. All right, and that is the end of this exercise. And 
joining in this video. The next exercise we're going to look at is exercise 15.2, creating a managed service account. And we're going to leave these windows open. I'm just going to minimize them for the next ex exercise.